okay so uh, guys uh, let's get started okay and the idea for the okay the agenda for the previous session is you know we are going to talk about how an any ETL tool like Pentaho or Talent or Informatica can be connected to the Hadoop and Hadoop ecosystem okay and what are the advantages in order to do this and what is the benefit you are going to get at the end of the day because you guys have already seen okay what Hadoop ecosystem is what Hadoop is how MapReduce works and how Hadoop and Hadoop ecosystem projects works so the idea here is from a data warehousing background industry how this can be helpful and this can be leveraged with the ETL books okay so this is a brief agenda so we'll talk about you know uh, Pento BI suite what it contains and how the Pento data integration primarily is just used for ETL purpose will be used with the Hadoop then we'll talk about how to configure Pentaho to work with Hadoop distribution. Then we'll see how to load data into the Hadoop cluster from the local file system. So this is what normally you will see like as a kind of use case would be like you know you'll be getting the weblog file from the companies. Okay, you have a type like a Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn. Okay, and you guys getting the files on a normal basis in the night, let's say, by an FTP. Okay, now you have to move your files from your local file system to the SDFS. So we'll talk about this, how to do it. Now, once you have moved the file to the SDFS, we'll see how to write MapReduce program in ETL tool, okay? How easy it is and what are the flexibilities provided there. We'll talk about it, okay? Then, once we are done with, you know, the loading of data and transformation of data from the map and reduce, then whatever the required data will come, we will see how to load this data into an RDBMS okay and we'll also see the vice versa if you want to load data from the RDBMS to HDFS we'll also talk about and we'll also see how to do that so that's the pretty much agenda for the day today so anyone has any uh, thoughts so it's pretty much uh, clear with everyone so I hope everyone is belongs to the data warehousing industry here yes no So guys, what I will do is, uh, I'm not sure whether you guys are able to hear me, actually I don't see yes and no. Okay. So I'm assuming everyone is good on that. Okay, great. So uh, let's move forward. So first thing is, we'll be using in this session the tool called Pentaho. Pentaho BI Suite is an open source business intelligence tool which contains the ETL piece which is called as Pento data integration also known as Kettle and it also has a reporting tool which provides you the reporting as well as it also has a dashboard capability it also has the ad hoc capability so our primary area of focus would be today on the ETL front that is basically on the data integration front so today we are going to talk about how the Pento latest version which is the 5.0 okay so we are going to use this tool you can download this tool from the source forge okay you can directly click on this link and you know i'll share the slides with you so you can directly go and you know, download this link so this link will be nothing but you know a zip file you will get so you have to unzip it now once you do the unzip and once you extract you will see something like this okay so let me get into the virtual machine so guys, I'll be, you know, uh, flipping between the virtual machine and the, my, you know, uh, Windows OS. So if you have any doubt, uh, please ping on the chat window. Okay, it might have, you know, you might see that, you know, uh, I sometimes I see uh, the virtual machine is not giving me the, the notification of the chat. But don't bother about it. I'll be quickly, you know, after let's say 10 minutes, I'll be checking the chat window. So if you have any doubts, feel free to put in the chat window. So uh, here is we are, and this is Spoon, which is the user interface tool of Pentaho. Okay, and I'll show you how it looks like. Okay, this is my terminal. So, so once you download Pentaho, okay, it will be as 
step and once you unzip it you will find a folder called as data hyphen integration and once you get into it you will see something like this so these are the complete folders present in the data integration folder okay and it has spoon okay so spoon.sh which is nothing but the UI interface which is this okay so once you start this it will open up now in order to configure spoon to work with Hadoop distribution you have to follow this you have to go to your folder called as Pentaho Big Data for plugins in the plugins you will see Pentaho Big Data plugin so this folder and in this folder you will see the file which is called as plugin.properties so you have to configure this plugin.properties so that you can go and work with the Hadoop distribution you have so by default Pentaho provides you the support to the following distribution so here you see one folder which is called as Hadoop distribution Hadoop configuration basically this will give you the information what all distribution it supports so by default it supports CDH42, Hadoop this Apache 1, LTP and MapR. So it supports all these distributions available. Okay. So now we will go to the file called plugin.properties. Okay. And I'll show you how and where to go and configure it. So we are using the CDH four so this is the place okay where you have to go and modify it okay so once you are done with cdh42 okay just save it up okay it's already present for me and just came out okay and then you go and start your spoon okay so this is my spoon i close it up So let's search. So this will open up the spoon. So only one configuration you have to do. That's it. Where you have to go into the big data plugins, plugin those properties folder, and then you have to specify which distribution you are using. Okay. You don't have to do any other settings apart from this. Can you chat us the link so that you can set on in parallel? Yeah, I can show. Don't worry Mutu, okay, you will get the record session, don't worry about it, okay. So I will you know, anyway I'll go and bring it to you here right away. So, okay. okay, any other doubts guys? Uh with respect to the configuration of the Pentaho? It's pretty simple, only one file that you have to go and modify it. That's it, nothing else. Okay. Okay. So let's move ahead. Now. So this is the Pento data integration user interface. This is called a spoon. Okay. And this tool is used for creating the transformations and jobs. Okay. So I hope you know you guys are pretty much familiar with the BI industry. If, if anyone is not familiar with the BI industry or the ETL industry or anyone doesn't know about what is a transformation, what is a job, I will quickly you know explain it up. Is there anyone who doesn't know about transformation and job? Okay, so I hope everyone knows about the transmission job. So let's keep it upside. Okay, and then we go ahead. Now, 
transformations are basically used for writing the basically it's nothing but it's an orchestration of the what you want from the ETL tool to do a particular kind of activity or the calculation and in Pentaho primarily the transformation means it is used for transformation of data from one form to another form based on your business logic and the main important thing here is everything runs in parallel okay and job is nothing but is a sequencing of attaching different transformation together to perform a logical flow of the activity okay that in short okay so now let's see how to move okay a file from a local file system to SGFS 